Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. This is going to be your stock watch list for the 31st of July. Uh, let's go ahead and get into some of these earnings that came out after the bell. This courtesy of the Trade Exchange, built for traders by traders, the Trade Exchange, audio news, visual news, throughout the day at the trade exchange. Uh, so we'll start out with Acme, A-C-K-A-M, earnings per share beat by seven cents, revenue beat, uh, that stock uh, popped up, just kind of hanging around uh, its uh, closing price here on Acme. Uh, we had a Gilead, G-I-L-D, uh, come out with earnings, popped that one up, uh, earnings per share beat by eight cents, revenue beat on this name. Uh, let's scroll down. We won't go through all the earnings, we'll just go through some of the uh, majors here uh amgen uh popping up uh after the bell tonight on their earnings uh, they beat by 35 cents revenue beat uh amgen closed at 176 currently trading at uh, one over 181 uh in the after hours uh, tonight FireEye feye looks like a miss there that stock uh plummeting uh in the after hours tonight earnings per share missed by two cents uh, revenues did beat though uh but uh not enough there for FireEye pushing down uh, let's see what else do we have after the bell. IRWD, earnings per share beat by 11 cents, beats on revenue. Uh, Mondelez, earnings per share in line, revenue, raising guidance. Uh, so MDLZ, let's see if it's doing anything. Popped it up, pulled it right back. Uh, it's uh, closed at 54.81, currently trading 55.34 uh, on MDLZ, Mondelez. Uh, we'll scroll through here. Uh, ENPH had earnings that they beat by five cents. Revenue beat on uh, ENPH. FireEye lowered guidance there. FEYE uh, beat earnings per share beat by 15 cents and beat on revenue. So let's check out uh, beat B E A T uh, popping up in the after hours. A stock closed at 44. Uh, it's up six dollars from its closing price on B E A T. Uh, scrolling through here, and we have a uh, Zen Z E N earnings per share in line revenue beat on Z E N. Uh, this is in the software space. Uh, not enough for this one on Zen, uh, pulling it back a little bit down to uh, ninety one dollars uh, in the after hours on Z E N. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, AMD Advanced Micro Devices. They also reported after the bell tonight. Uh, earnings per share came in line, revenue beat. Uh, as we scroll through, we'll see if we can pick up anything else on uh, AMD. Closed at uh, 33.87, currently trading at uh, 32 and change here on uh, AMD. Uh, still below that $34 level here. Uh, if we keep scrolling, uh, Allstate earnings per share beat by uh, says 70 cents here on Allstate. May not be comparable uh, but anyway all state earnings came out and then the big gun uh, Apple uh, AAPL came out with uh, earnings after the bell tonight look at this huge pop Apple closed at 208 and change uh, currently trading uh, uh, at uh, 217 and change on Apple a big move up here on AAPL they beat by eight cents revenue beat on the name uh, Apple services revenue reaches uh, new all-time highs uh, for Apple and then uh, here's some numbers here on Apple if you want to pause the video and read those for yourself and uh, Let's see uh, comments coming out from Apple. This was our biggest uh, June quarter ever uh, driven by all-time record revenue from services and uh, If you want to pause the video and read that uh, on Apple here's some of your numbers here on uh, Apple also the iPhone uh, came in at uh, 25.99 billion versus 26.31 billion so a little bit of a miss there in the iPhone not not by much but uh, wearables and home accessories looks like uh, they beat on that uh, so Apple uh, very strong in the after hours uh, we did get the uh, API crude numbers uh, coming out it was a drawdown of a uh, six billion six million uh, barrels sorry about that uh, so let's take a look at the uh, USO uh, pushing up uh, in the after hours a little bit now up above uh, $12 on uh, crude oil so it was a drawdown of a uh, six million on that uh, let's see uh, we 
have North Korea has launched uh, multiple missiles from its uh, east, east coast. Uh, Apple has bought back uh, nearly 2 billion shares in the past uh, six years. Uh, so uh, shares are down to its lowest level uh, since 2000. Uh, Apple's Cook, uh, Tim Cook, says uh, 420 uh, million paid subscribers. Uh, this little stock, uh, RIBT, uh, was up today. They have a meatless uh, product, I guess. And uh, so that goes kind of in that beyond uh, meat family, uh, some type of uh, meatless meatball product, uh, pushing that one up into the close uh, today on RIBT and then uh, AMD uh, sales forecast miss on tepid uh, game console chip demand for AMD so that could be holding uh, that one back uh, this evening so let's go ahead and take a look at the spy by the way uh, my apologies for not doing a video uh, last night uh, it was just very quiet in the market yesterday really didn't have uh, anything to do a video on so took the night off today is a little more uh, newsworthy uh, so doing a video tonight but uh, as far as the spy today uh, basically we had a uh, President Trump uh, coming out he was kind of lashing out at uh, China and uh, dampened uh, the hopes of a trade deal uh, and uh, we also had have the uh, FOMC uh, meeting uh, tomorrow. Uh, that'll be uh, the release will be coming out at uh, two o'clock, and then we get the presser at two thirty uh, tomorrow. So whether they're going to uh, lower rates by twenty-five basis points or uh, fifty basis points, yet to be determined. Uh, most leaning towards twenty-five basis point uh, cut from the Fed. Uh, so anyway, on the uh, spy, let's look at the intraday uh, action uh, today on the spy. So. Uh, Basically, we uh, were grinding down all day uh, in the uh, pre-market here, right? And uh, then we bounced at the open uh, around that uh, 10 SMA. Uh, we bounced off there. We pushed up through uh, the yellow line you see here, which is color coordinated uh, with the five uh, EMA on my ch daily chart. Uh, we burst up through that, then broke down below it into the close. And then in the after hours, uh, we're currently trading above the uh, five EMA on the uh, daily chart on the SPY. So uh, a little bit of selling and recovery today. Uh, the Dow Jones ended up uh, minus 23. Uh, the transports were up uh, nine, even with uh, oil up today. Uh, the NASDAQ was uh, minus 20 and the S&P 500 uh, minus uh, eight. Uh, a nice thing to see today was the uh, IWM. Uh, so, you know, we've had this uh, green, red, or on my charts, it's uh, white, uh, white, red, white, red, uh, red white and now we are pushing up over these levels here uh, on the uh, IWM so now we have to see are we going to get that continuation move are we going to take out this high of uh, 158.03 uh, on the uh, IWM uh, that's going to depend on uh, you know uh, what the Fed says uh, tomorrow now there is that presser tomorrow uh, so that will weigh uh, heavily uh, you know what they're going to be doing uh, with their forward uh, outlook uh, what the uh, Jerome Powell uh, is going to say. So uh, that'll greatly affect uh, the markets. Make sure you're by your uh, trading desk tomorrow around 2.30 and watching your stocks. But overall, um, a lot of earnings beats uh, today and tonight, uh, PAYC uh, uh, software uh, stock, Paycom uh, pushing up in the after hours, up about uh, what's that, uh, 20 bucks almost, 15, 20 bucks on PAYC over in the uh, software space. Uh, Capital One Financial uh, taking a hit here uh, after they, uh, they got hacked, 100 million uh, of their users, uh, card uh, members uh, hacked. And uh, so Capital One feeling. Uh, the brunt uh, this stock was on a nice pace a nice move up and then with that uh, negative news uh, yesterday into today uh, and a big sell-off here uh, kind of like uh, Equifax right so Capital One uh, drifting down a little bit of a uh, uh, shorts uh, covering here uh, into the close on Capital One. Uh, Restoration uh, Hardware also uh, popping today. Uh, they, uh, I think they raised their uh, full year uh, guidance here on uh, Restoration Hardware. That's what was pushing uh, this one up today. So a nice move up on uh, this name. And um, let's see, uh, we'll go ahead and bring down uh, what you need to be watching uh, for uh, for tomorrow and the next couple of days. Uh, so for tomorrow, 
tomorrow, like we mentioned for Wednesday, this calendar courtesy of uh, the trade exchange. Uh, so you have that FOMC meeting at two o'clock, two thirty. You have the Fed chair press conference. Uh, also, uh, uh, you get seven o'clock MBA mortgage uh, applications coming out. Uh, the ADP employment report. And what does that mean when that's coming out? That means the employment situation is coming out on uh, Friday uh, at eight thirty. So leading up to Friday for the uh, jobs number coming out. Uh, we also have uh, pretty straightforward as far as uh, economic uh, speak. Oil numbers will be coming tomorrow at uh, 1030 for Wednesday. Uh, as far as uh, further earnings uh, for tomorrow, you get uh, General Electric. Amron will be reporting uh, before the bell. Spotify, SPOT, symbol there. Uh, we get some healthcare companies reporting before the bell tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday after the bell, you get uh, Twilio reporting, Qualcomm, Zynga, Western Digital. Uh, Thursday, you have uh, Shopify, uh, Verizon, General Motors, Yeti, Wayfair. Uh, after the close Thursday, uh, Square will be reporting. Reporting, uh, SQ, Afria, APHA, US Steel uh, will be reporting, Etsy, uh, P um, Pinterest, right? P I N S symbol there. And then we get some of the bigger oil names uh, reporting, ExxonMobil, Chevron, uh, and then a uh, data storage uh, stock, uh, Seagate, STX, uh, Friday before the open. So that's some of your earnings. Uh, tonight, today, uh, we had some uh, top gainers for today. Uh, I RMD, HTBX, uh, CNX uh, was nonstop today. A uh, big move up. Uh, Silica had earnings today. Uh, that stock uh, was moving up. VLRX, which we traded uh, in the service today at Zozo Stockwatch, gave a nice move uh, in the uh, in the. Um, in the morning, uh, let's see, Zebra had earnings this morning. Uh, that one popped up. And then for your stocks that uh, were moving down, uh, Beyond Meat came out with earnings yesterday. Uh, took a little bit of a hit today, about 13% uh, down. Grubhub uh, dropping today. Uh, ALIM getting hit. Uh, McDermott, MDR taking a big hit today, down 35% on uh, MDR. So that's uh, some of your uh, winners and losers. Uh, Under Armour also uh, reported earnings this morning they were a miss uh, that stock uh, dropping 14% uh, for the day this courtesy of the trade exchange that's their market wrap-up uh, newsletter that they send out each night uh, get on their mailing list uh, for this it's good packed with information gives you all the earnings and whatnot uh, coming out uh, for the next day here's your unusual call activity uh, for the day you had LEN EXC CSTM uh, IVZ on the put side, uh, Uber, OC, and LL, uh, unusual put activity. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look, quick look at the uh, Finviz, the uh, map uh, heat map uh, for today. I would imagine a lot of this is going to reverse itself uh, in the morning with uh, those great uh, Apple earnings pushing a lot. It will be pushing a lot of tech stocks uh, up tomorrow, you would think. Uh, but Amazon uh, drifting down today, uh, Google down 1% today. Uh, Facebook uh, popping half a percent on the day. Bank America uh, up today over 1% on, on that name. Uh, let's see, like I said, the oil were the uh, strongest uh, Conoco uh, Phillips here up over 2% uh, oxy jumping uh, 3% today as oil was edging up a little bit uh, EOG up uh, two and a half percent on the day uh, Halliburton and uh, the OIH uh, services sector uh, were very strong today uh, we'll take a look at that right now uh, so let's go ahead and look at the, some of our sectors that were popping today uh, so we had the VIX up a little bit of a uh, uh, complacency came out of the market today on those President Trump uh, tweets. Uh, so, but right now we have about a 14, 13, 14 handle on the VIX, uh, not too uh, crazed there, uh, but up about uh, 9% on the day on the VIX, uh, still below 20. Uh, the OIH climbing uh, quite a bit today, up over uh, 4% uh, on the day for the uh, OIH. Uh, JNUG uh, rising a little bit, 3% on the day. Oil, it's 
itself, uh, USO, the ETF for light sweet crude oil, WTI, up over 2% on the day. The IWC, the micro caps, uh, popping 1% on the day. Uh, the IBB uh, up a little bit. The uh, XBI looks a little bit better. Uh, these are the smaller uh, cap uh, biotech names. Looks a bit, little bit better than the uh, IBB as far as the daily chart. Uh, nicer candle here getting above some of the momentum moving averages there. The IBB uh, still below the 200 uh, SMA on that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what was uh, down. Uh, KWeb, the Chinese internet uh, ETF was down about 1% on the day everything else pretty much uh, down fractionally uh, for the day as far as uh, s the sector performance uh, for today uh, the XOP uh, exploration in oil uh, up uh, five percent on the day there uh, the uh, home builders up almost two percent on the day a lot of that had to do with uh, DHI uh, DR Horton uh, they came out with earnings uh, this morning big pop in this name uh, up about uh, over five five percent or so on the day for uh, that name uh, then so the home builders were up the XHE uh, the uh, healthcare equipment uh, sector uh, was up uh, 1.54 percent but oil was the big uh, winner uh, today uh, so that's uh, some of your sectors uh, for today Let's go ahead and get into that uh, watch list uh, for tomorrow. Now, to be honest with you, I've been uh, watching the news and watching my scanners uh, in the morning, my trade ideas, uh, scanners, and playing news stocks, uh, playing earnings. Uh, so my watch list is very limited tonight. Plus, we do have that FOMC uh, meeting announcement for tomorrow. So uh, kind of expecting a lower volume uh, day. Uh, have not been trading in the afternoons, trading in the mornings uh, the first couple couple of hours. Uh, Monday, I ended up with a uh, down commission day on Monday. Uh, today was mu much better. The flow was much better. Uh, so got a couple of nice uh, trades off today. Uh, but don't want to over trade. Uh, hold on to your gains in the morning. Don't over trade. Uh, the afternoons have been very sluggish. You may catch something here and there uh, in the afternoon. But uh, overall, the action is in the morning. Uh, and then in the afternoons, it's been very quiet. But uh, first one up, I'll be watching. Uh, AMD. Uh, maybe they'll push this one down, uh, you know, uh, and push down to the lows, and then we get a bounce in it. So watching AMD uh, for action tomorrow, if it does get up over this uh, 34 area, uh, could make another move up. We'll see how it uh, plays out uh, for tomorrow. But watching that one, BLNK uh, popping here, uh, volume 600,000 shares on Blink, uh, closed at 302. The high today on BLNK was 307. Uh, so keep this one on watch, uh, maybe some kind of red to green or maybe uh, a continuation move in this name if they can get it up over the highs uh, from today. Uh, CHK over in the uh, oil patch here, uh, 60 million shares. It's a $1.80 stock, uh, maybe trying to turn the corner on uh, CHK. Uh, that'll be on watch. Uh, Chewy watching for this uh, $35 uh, break on uh, Chewy. So I'll go ahead and draw my line. Uh, at that $35 area. So watching uh, Chewy for a recovery here. Uh, we'll see maybe 3510 on this name. Now it can be intraday, can be a tricky one. Uh, if you do mess around with this, watch this, your position size, because uh, it can be a little bit uh, volatile on uh, that one. Uh, Cliff. Uh, perking up here, uh, 8 million shares in Cliff, getting up over the 10 SMA. Uh, we had a AKS uh, with a big move up today in the steel sector. Huge volume coming into uh, AKS uh, steel. Uh, so maybe uh, Cliffs uh, gets a nice uh, continuation move tomorrow. Uh, has that 1165, 1150 area on Cliff. So I'll be watching that. U.S. Steel has earnings coming out later in the week. Uh, keep an eye on that one too. Maybe it'll jump uh, tomorrow. Uh, EFOI, we traded this in the room today, up over uh, 75 cents for a pop up to 90 cents. So that gave us a nice uh, intraday uh, play here on EFOI. So I'll watch it again tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. It had some news uh, this morning. That's what put it on our radar. Uh, HTBX uh, was also uh, popping. Didn't trade this one uh, personally today, but it was popping up. Uh, so uh, this will be on watch uh, over two 
million shares. We'll see if it resets. Uh, LPTX uh, is starting to make that turn again. We still have this 200 SMA uh, in the way. 200 SMA is at 245. Uh, I would personally let it clear uh, 250 on this name, and then maybe you get that continuation uh, move on the name. By the way, if you uh, if this video is helping you out, uh, please hit that like button uh, down below the video. It'll be greatly appreciated. Uh, let me know you're out there. Put some comments out there. Also, if you're new to my channel, we'd love it to grow. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below this video, and you'll be alerted uh, when we do videos. So please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, MAXR had some news uh, today. A deal maybe with NASA. Uh, popped it up over eight uh, a little bit here. Then it kind of pulled back. Uh, so we'll watch it. Some volume was coming in on MAXR. Uh, PETZ, PETZ gave us a nice uh, trade today. Uh, we took this one over a uh, dollar thirty today, and it popped up almost a dollar sixty, dollar fifty-five uh, area on PETZ. So I'll have this one on watch again for tomorrow. Uh, Pit interest uh, finally uh, popped. It got up over this twenty-eight area. If you've been uh, a loyal watcher of my videos. Uh, we've been talking about PINS in this 28 area. Uh, it did get above that. Uh, next spot is 29. Uh, their earnings come out on uh, August 1st, so keep uh, PINS. Uh, maybe it wants to make a continuation move on that name. Uh, you know, keep uh, Twitter on watch. Also, social media play. Uh, this one I think needs to get back up over this uh, 4150 uh, area. Uh, maybe it makes a continuation move. Kind of just consolidating this gap up uh, after earnings move right now. Uh, snap, uh, keep this one on watch. You got a two stick pullback now to around the five EMA. They gapped it up on earnings. We're getting a little bit of pullback. Let's see if it wants to turn uh, around here or are we going to get further drift down? But I'm going to keep an eye on a snap. Uh, another name I'll be watching is uh, RIBT. Uh, this is the one that uh, has that. Um, uh, I guess kind of meatless uh, meatball. All right, RIBT now Rice Brand Technologies uh, volume expanding volume. I don't know if this thing is going to do anything tomorrow. Uh, a big pop in this name, but uh, worth a look, I guess. Uh, I don't even know. I didn't look at it in level two. I don't know if it's spready or not. But uh, you know, for giggles, I'll keep a RBT RIBT on watch for tomorrow. We'll see if there's anything there. Uh, you know, it's kind of uh, may get that. Uh, Beyond uh, Meat Fever, all right? Beyond Meat came out with uh, earnings yesterday, last night. Uh, they also, they did that offering, so they jammed uh, BYND down, uh, but maybe they're looking for uh, a replacement for a little bit, so RIBT uh, will be on watch. Uh, SLDB, uh, this stock, uh, you know, trying to turn the corner here. Uh, some expanding volume the, a couple of days ago, uh, 700,000 shares. It's holding over the 50 SMA, trying to back battle its way over this six dollar uh, area on SLDB so keep an eye on it if we can get that uh, highs today of 605 taken out uh, SLS if you like these uh, under uh, 25 cent names is trying to turn the corner here uh, getting some volume coming into it SLS uh, so keep an eye on that probably uh, not something I'm going to trade personally uh, but some of you folks like these uh, you know lower priced uh, under 25 cent names picking up some momentum here on uh, SLS SMSI a uh, nice closed hold uh, held most of the gains uh, in the after hours uh, got up over six bucks uh, today uh, let's see if there's maybe a red a pullback uh, move here a reversal move so I'll be watching uh, SMSI uh, on this name I don't want to pay uh, you know above uh, uh, chase this one up uh, so I'll be looking for maybe some kind of pullback move in the name uh, WKHS finally uh, moving here uh, let's see in after hours it's up here at uh, 507. Uh, so they finally got this one moving. Uh, we'll see if it pulls back. Uh, we'll keep it on watch on WKHS. All right, this is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Hope you have a good day trading tomorrow. Uh, this is going to be the last uh, video for the week, taking a little bit of a respite from YouTube. This will be my last video. Uh, we'll try to get one out to you uh, Sunday, all right, uh, this coming Sunday. Uh, and, but uh, for now, we're going to go dark a little bit, relax, uh, be with the family. Uh, 
uh, for the summertime. And then uh, in a few days, we'll be back out with another video. All right. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Hope you have a good day trading tomorrow. Uh, please hit that like button down below. We greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and have a great day trading uh, tomorrow.